Okay, in this video we're going to do a walkthrough of Genius Connector where you can intelligently target friend requests. So let me show you a couple of things about it. This is the icon up here with the two people connecting. It's Genius Connector. If you're not on a page that it's going to do what it needs to do, it will ask if you want to delete all pending friend requests. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I do recommend that you do that occasionally. Facebook doesn't like to see a whole bunch of unanswered friend requests. It thinks you're friending people you don't know, which of course you are. So <laughs> um, it's a good idea to delete those occasionally. I'll do a video on best practices at some point here, but about once a week I would go through and delete any pending requests that are more than a day or two old, and you can do that by just taking a break for a day and then delete them. So where you can use Friend Connector is either on Friends of Friends or on members of groups. So let's go to a group first. Let's just, I'll just pick Karcher just because it's a big group. And we'll go in here and you want to go to members. And I usually recommend you scroll down to the bottom. It'll stop and then let it reload. Stop, reload, stop, reload. I would do that a little bit here. Okay. And you'll see you've got a lot of people where you can add friends, add friends. And for uh, Genius Connector here, what you're going to do, there are lookup interv intervals that you can do. And um, I recommend long times. So you don't want Facebook thinking you're just spamming people. I, I do 10 minutes, I do 15 minutes, and I just let this thing run in the background for a long time. For this video, I'm going to do 15 to 18 seconds because I just want to get a few of them shown to you quickly. But if you're going to do 30 seconds, a minute, three minutes, five minutes, do that if you're only going to run this for 20 minutes or you know, 15, 20 minutes, half hour, and then you're going to turn it off. But I always do 10 or 15 minutes and let it run deep in the background. You can limit your requests. You could say, hey, I, I'm going to do these every three minutes, but I'm only going to do 15 requests. You could do that. I'm going to run it on infinite because I just want to stop it. You can resume from the last search if you're on a page and you know where you were. Maybe you were 100 people down. You could type yes and type which search member's position you want to start with. I'm not going to do that right now. And you can type keywords. So if we look at this, I'm in Kartra. Maybe I only want to deal with business owners. Where this is coming from, are these here, like this person just has Arizona State University, this doesn't have anything. There's a word that I might want to target, founder, owner. That's one I might want to do, coach. Maybe maybe coaches are, are my target market, owner. Uh, maybe I'm going to target realtors. I could just, just do those, sales manager. Those would be the kind of keywords I would put in for a search. So I could do... I could do owner, founder, manager. I'm going to leave the keywords out, but if you do want to type them in, you just type it and then hit a comma, and it'll add those keywords in. And then if you want to delete them, just click the little X there, and it'll get rid of the keywords. And then message groups. I'm not going to show message groups right now. I'm going to show them uh, shortly. I just want to show the basics of this first. So we've scrolled down a few times. Let's do one more. And we're going to hit run. And when you hit run, you'll see all of these are numbered. If for any reason it doesn't number them, just refresh or log out of the extension and back in again. And you should be good to go. And you can see here, let me click out of there. It's adding this friend. It's asking her. She's an admin. Okay, I'll probably delete that request. And it's going down to the next one and adding C1 group member request sent. And it just goes down your list. And if you have keywords, it goes down there. Now I'm going to... I'm going to stop the, the run. I don't need to do any more. That gives you the idea. And you let it run in the background, and it'll just simply go down there. Now, if you're already friends, it'll skip them. Or if you have keywords in there and they don't have your keyword, it'll wait. And keep in mind, too, if you're doing the timing, let's say 10 minutes, it might not be exactly 10 minutes. There's a random factor in there, uh, maybe like 30 seconds. So it might be 9 minutes and 30 seconds, and then it'll wait 10 minutes and 10 seconds. There is a little bit of a random factor in there. So that's basically how it works. You can also do it on friends. Let's just find a, let's just go to one of my friends. We'll just scroll down. And um, I don't know if we can do a person. That's just a group. Here's a person. That's a sponsored post. Well, that's in a group too. Let me just find out. I get a friends post. There we go. Okay, so we can take John. We can go to his friends. Okay. And they're all of his friends. Okay. Now, some of them are going to be mutual, right? So I want to probably go down, although John and I probably have a lot of 
friends. I don't see any. It's, there's no add friend here. So John may have. There are settings where you can't you can't do this with everyone. Let's pick another friend. Let's find. Uh, let's do Renee. Go to her friends. Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing. Oh, those are only mutual. Okay, so I definitely can't do that on on hers. Let's do Eleanor. Go to friends. There we go. We've got some here, so we can we can see all friends here. Let's go down until they're. There we go. See, now I'm down below the ones that are already friends. See where it says add friend? So now I can go in and do the same thing. I can do the run. Please input a valid number. I have to click infinite. See, I had limited. Let's do infinite, and we'll just run. And see, it's starting, and I can scroll up and see where it's adding. It's adding this Christopher Darrell. I'm going to stop that. So that's another place you can do it. It's not going to be available on all friends, just like not all groups will have that available. Just scroll down until you get friends that aren't mutual. And if you see add friend, you're going to be able to do it. So the next thing I want to show you, let's go back to the home. I want to get rid of that admin in Kartra. I don't need to be friending her. I'm going to just delete that friend request. Say Barney Hargrove was there. Request canceled. Okay. And I'll close that window out. Now, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's show you these keywords, okay? So are these uh, message groups. You can send a message out to people when you send your friend request out. You can message them and say, hey, we have a lot of things in common, glad to connect, that kind of thing. So what you do, you want to create segments, and then you'll put those segments into groups. So where I am, let me show you where I went. It's this little, they call it a hamburger menu up here. It's these nine dots. And you just click that, and we'll hit Message Segments. And you'll hit Add to create a new segment and give it a title. I'll call this the Intro Segment. And then you want it to say things that are similar but different because you don't want Facebook seeing you send the exact same message over and over and over again. Eventually, they'll flag it as spam. So you could say, Hi. And I'll put a space after that, okay? Because these will become sentences. So make sure you add your spaces. And I'll hit Add. Let's... Um, create another message. We just click that and let's put greetings, exclamation mark. Click add, create another message. I'll do hello, comma with a space, add. And you get the idea. You could put a half a dozen of these in there. Um, let's do one more. We'll do hey there with a space. I think I forgot the space on greetings. So I can hit X, create another message, greetings, space. Okay, you can also do a keyword. If you want their first name in there, you could do hi, and then click where it says first name, and that'll put, we'll do comma space, that will put their first name, whatever their first name is from their Facebook profile, and we'll hit add. And once you've got the segment where you want it, you just hit save. Let's do another segment. So after you say hi, what do you want to say to them? Maybe you'll say something like, I see we have a lot in common looking to connect with like-minded people, period, space. I'm going to copy that. Oops, I deleted it. Let's see if I can get it back. There it is. Okay, um, copy that, and we'll add that. Create another message. Now, I'm going to change it up a little bit. Uh, instead of, I see we have a lot in common, I'll put looks like. Looks like we have a lot in common. Hoping to connect with like-minded people. Add. Create another message. Let's keep something really similar. Um, maybe we'll switch these around. Uh, looking to connect with like-minded people. And I see we have a lot in common. Add. And you see what I'm doing? It's a similar message, but it's different. It's not going to get caught by Facebook's algorithm that you're sending the same thing over and over again. Save the message segment. Okay, I didn't, I didn't name that, so let's edit this, and we'll call this opening. Uh, actually, this is in common, right? So we'll call it in common things. And if you're only targeting like one group or one type of group, you could mention that group in here or something like that. Okay, so let's save this. Let's add another segment. Um, maybe we want to ask them a question because we want to start engaging, okay? Uh, so and we don't want it to look like we haven't looked at their profile. I see people asking things like, so what do you do for a living, you know? Uh, or, you know, what do you do? Um, so, but we can ask a question to get some engagement. So, um, how has this year been for you? It's been tough for some and great for others. 
period space. Okay, and I'll copy that. Just giving you an example of what you can do. This may not be what you want to do, but let's do that. Um, how has, let's do 2020 been. We'll get rid of for you. I know it's been tough for some and great for others. Add. And you can do a few of these. I'm not going to do any more, but you can do, you know, you want four, five, six, eight of them, whatever. All right, and let's do one more. Let's close this out. Oops, see, again, I forgot the, the name. So, um, how has year been? That way I'll remember what kind of this segment is, save segment. And then let's close out. Um, looking forward to hearing from you, period. Whoops. All right, and we'll add. Uh, and maybe this next one, we'll hit create another message. Maybe we'll just do take care, add, create another message, talk soon, something like that. I think you get the idea, okay? And we'll add that. And we'll call this one um, outro. We did an intro, we'll do an outro. Save message segment. So we have these four segments, okay? So now, if we go back, let's go to another group. We'll just go back in Kartra because we just want to see an example um, of how these work and we'll hit members. I'm not going to actually do a run here again But we're here I, and again, I always like to scroll into the bottom and make it reload a couple of times It seems to work better when you do that now. We'll hit this now as we're going through here You can oops. I didn't create a group <laughs> see um, So I need to show you one more thing. Those were messages, but now you create groups out of them and we'll add a group and We'll call this. I'll just call it group. Well, maybe this is for culture people. Okay, culture people um, that's our group. Now, what you do is you build a set based on the, on the uh, segments that we had. So insert a message segment. Okay, we want to start with our intro, which is high. Uh, I could insert a space manually. I could do static text and put a space here. Okay, but I already put spaces in the... Oops. I already... I'll oh, get rid of that space. I already put spaces in the sentences. Insert another message segment. The next thing is things we have in common. Insert another message segment. Then I want to ask a question. Then insert another message segment, and we'll do the outro. So we're, we're building a sentence here based on the segments. It'll take one of the intro statements we wrote. It'll take one of the in common things, one of the how has your year been, and one of the outro. So we're really randomizing all of the text, and we can hit add. And then we can build as many of these message sets as we want. Maybe uh, we'll do another one. We did not We did put names in them, so I don't want to do that. But if you didn't put a name, you could do a keyword, right? So you could, these are your keywords. You could put in, you know, John or whatever their first name is, is going to come in there. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do that, but that's what we have. So let's hit, uh, whoops, let's save this message group. Okay. There's our culture people and you can build as many groups as you want. Now we'll come back here and we'll hit this. Now if we hit message groups, we can choose which group we want. And this one is going to be the Kartra people. I misspelled that, but that's fine. And now when I hit run and it sends the message, it's going to put out the friend request and it's also going to send that message out. And so they'll see the message and see what you want, that you're probably a legit person because you're asking them a question and you're reaching out to them. So that is how Genius Connector runs. If you have any questions, let us know. That's just a good walkthrough. I'll do more in-depth, separate videos on how to do everything in other videos. But that is the walkthrough overview of what this great software does. And what will happen is it just automates your friend request portion so that you can get more people up there. If you go to my profile, you can see I have 4,982 people right now. And I go up and down a little bit, but I usually hang out around 5,000. I'll go through and purge a bunch and add some more and keep everything fresh and keep your engagement up. But this software works really well. And then add your human touch and engage with them afterwards. There are other softwares that can help you with that engagement, but Friend Connector is just designed to, to add friends that will engage with you that are like-minded into your uh, Facebook account. So that's it. Take care. Let me know if you have any questions.